Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office and thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, December 23rd. It's the fourth week in Advent and the scripture for this service. Psalm 72, Luke 1 verse 39 to 56. And please join me in singing verse 3 of Hark the Glad Sound. He comes the broken heart to bind, the bleeding soul to cure, and with the treasures of his grace to enrich the humble poor. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Psalm 72, and please recite it with me. Give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. And your ruler shall judge your people with righteousness, and your poor with justice. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills bring righteousness. And your ruler shall judge the poor of the people, and save the children of the needy, and shall break the oppressor into pieces. Your ruler shall live as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. And your ruler shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. And in his days the righteous shall flourish, an abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. And your ruler shall have dominion from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. <clears throat> they shall dwell in the wilderness. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The rulers of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring gifts. The rulers of Sheba and Seba shall offer tribute. Yes, all nations shall fall down before your ruler. All nations shall serve him. For your ruler shall deliver the needy when they cry, and the poor that have no helper. Your ruler shall spare the poor and shall save the lives of the needy. Your ruler shall redeem their souls from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And your ruler shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba. And prayer shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit will shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like the grass of the earth. Your ruler's name shall endure forever. His name shall last as long as the sun. And all people shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call your ruler blessed. And blessed be God most high, the God of Israel, who does wondrous things. And blessed be God's glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with God's glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, beginning at verse 39. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped within her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. 
and surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. And he has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and his descendants forever. And Mary remained with Elizabeth there about three months and then returned to her home. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, lead us in the ways of justice and truth, that peace may flourish in our days. Soften our hearts, that we may have compassion on all your children, especially the poor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. <clears throat> and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. <clears throat>